first of all, I wanted to show you some things that I picked up at, um, I went to three different places in the last week or so, um, Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning, uh, I went to a thrift shop today, and I went to Target and picked up one or two little things. So this is going to be kind of a collective haul. So first thing, uh, what we're looking at here are some old Christmas cards that uh, were gifted to me um, from my aunt. So um, they're mostly uh, just the tops of the cards, uh, but I wanted to use them obviously in junk journals to uh, make um, uh, ephemera and whatnot. So um, I'm going to, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, the glitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm going to be working on some Christmas junk journals. I have one um, just about finished that's a little bit different. It's going to be more of a black and red and uh, white uh, theme. Um, n sort of rustic. Yeah, I guess it could be rustic. There's some craft paper um, in there uh, thrown in. And so, yeah. So... I'm not going to show you everything, but you get the idea. There's a lot of really fun uh, cards. <laughs> How cute, the little kitty cat. Uh, lots of fun cards that I can use to uh, create ephemera and pages in my junk journals. So I'll uh, be looking for some Christmas junk journals coming okay, up Okay, first soon. off, I want to start with Hobby Lobby. Uh, today they had uh, half price Christmas crafts, so I picked up this paper pad uh, to go with all of these cards. Um, uh, I really do like this paper pad, and it is Christmas, but it's not overtly Christmas. I think this could easily be used uh, throughout the rest of the year, not all of it, but some pages for sure could so let's just do a quick flip through many of you may probably have seen this already uh, not double side not double sided so for these um, Christmas journals I probably will coffee dye all the paper I like when they're when they're not double sided I definitely like to coffee dye them I don't necessarily always enjoy just the plain white Oh, that's a pretty color. Um, so, and this one's my favorite, obviously. <laughs> I'm more of a traditional, well, I shouldn't say that. I like, I like all things Christmas. Lately, I've been feeling a little bit more traditional Christmas. Um, but I definitely do like the kitschy vintage, um, 50s. Sorry for the glare there. Uh. Christmas too. So, looks like there's three sheets of each. I like that one. That one's really cool. Okay, and yeah, that's another good one. So there's that. So 12 by 12, that one ended up being half of seven, uh, half of 17, about $8. Um, picked up, found this on clearance, 59 cents. There was a couple of them. I only picked up one. I don't use tons. Oh, I didn't even turn it around. I don't use tons of stickers, but I thought I would get good use out of this pack. I didn't even see the back. So, shoot, I should have bought another one. They had a couple. Oh, well. Um, so, continuing with the Christmas, picked up, uh, this was a dollar. Um, this kind of sticker I really like because they're see-through and they just add something to the page, but they don't take up a lot of room. And then this one was a dollar and a quarter. And so this is again the traditional Christmas um, look. And how many sheets? So 18 stickers. Okay, yeah, I probably overpaid on that one, but whatever. <laughs> um, I already opened this one. This was on clearance. It looked like actually it had been used, and I did use some of it already. Uh, this was 90 cents. This is Paper Studio. So many of you probably have actually seen this already. But I, again, I don't use tons of washi, but I have a lot of washi. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, make myself use more of it. 
Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so another paper pad from Hobby Lobby. This one was uh, $3.50. And I'll do a quick flip through here. Kind of going along with the rustic Christmas theme. I don't really like to buy 6x6 paper pads as often. But they are good for making tags and... You know, I can make Christmas cards out of these if I wanted to. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely use it. Uh, it may take me a year or two. <laughs> I don't really love having tons in my stash, but then there are those times. Oh, that's really cute. Then there are those times when you don't want to go shopping. You want to just use what you have in your stash, right? Okay, last from Hobby Lobby. Um, their sewing notions were also half off today. I didn't know that going in until I got there. I actually went in to find some black ribbon and that I did. I picked up a couple different styles of black. This is a black velvet. Um, this is just a satin, really thin satin. And then this one's more of like a cord. Um, because I wanted to use it on a couple of projects that I'm working on right now uh, as uh, the closure for the book. I also really love this one. How cool is that? Uh, and then these two are actually the same print, but this one is more of a coppery bronze and black, and this one is more of a copper and pink. Um, so, prices on these. This was a dollar. This was the satin ribbon. This one, I don't know how well you can see that. This one ended up being a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Focus. There we go. A dollar, that's the black velvet, and a dollar for the cord. There you go, you can see that, okay? So I'll definitely be using that up in my stash. Okay, well I've talked about it. I might as well show it to you. <laughs> this is one of them that I've been working on. It's um, a very monochromatic, it's nearly done. I just need to sew the signatures in and put the uh, tags and stuff in. So I'll quickly kind of show you. Um, I, I used one paper pad. Uh, it was a DCWV paper pad that was very, it's all just grays and blacks and whites. So um, kind of get the ideas. A lot of, whoop, a lot of gold. How cool. Okay, so that's it. You don't get to see any more until it's done. I will post a video uh, flip through of this when it is finished, probably this weekend. And um, so look out for that. Okay, moving along. And next I'll show you Tuesday morning. Okay, so I just said I'm trying not to buy <laughs> six by six paper, but yet here's another one. Okay. So here's the number for you, 249. This one's by Bo Bunny. It's the Juliet collection. I'm not familiar with this collection, but I can only imagine, I'm guessing it's Romeo and Juliet based on the, uh, papers in this set. Really pretty. So, okay. It looks like it repeats a couple times. This page is just bird. So there's that. And then I found some Christmas paper. This one is Reflections Christmas by Lori Whitlock. Uh, the, the company is Echo Park. And here is the number. I've taken this out already. There's the number. And let's just take it out and I'll do a quick flip through. Right, so there's a page of cut aparts. Another page of cut aparts. 
love this. Really pretty. This one's a little busy for me, but I like the back. Again, I like the burgundy color. Really pretty plaid. This kind of reminds me of Tim Holtz for some reason, and I don't really know why. This, that's a really pretty pattern. There's snowflakes in here. I didn't realize that until I looked at it a few times. <laughs> Some ornaments. Whoops. There's another one that I love. The sticker pack that I bought um, from Hobby Lobby will work really well with that particular sheet. This one's my favorite. I love the North Pole. I love the back. It's going to be hard for me to cut this one up, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Another one. This one reminds me of Tim Holtz as well. I think because of his little card sets that he sells. Here's the cut apart. Some more cut aparts. Cute. And the stickers. So this will be a fun one to, to work with. Uh, I think I'll come up with some fun things with this one for sure. So, I'll put this over here. Okay. Also at Tuesday morning, I found some Anna Griffin. So I ended up buying three pads. Uh, honestly, I didn't really think I was a big fan of Anna Griffin. Um, the only ones that I've really seen were from Joann's and apparently whoever buys the Anna Griffin for Joann's I'm not in that same taste <laughs> but uh, it's just it's the ones that they have there are a little bit too floofy for me I like to tone that down a little bit I'm more I like the nature part and um, yeah some of this still isn't really my taste but I figure you know just because it may not be my taste, maybe it's your taste. And I'm sure I can come up with something really cool to uh, use these with. Um, some really fun junk journals. So, yeah, this page, really not my favorite. <laughs> I don't love the colors together. I don't love the design. Probably what I'll do is fussy cut this out and use it that way somehow or come up with something um, for that, but you know what? It's okay. If I don't love every single page, then that's not the end of the world. This one I really like. So there you go. <laughs> More birds. So this, this pad is, uh, I didn't even tell you. This one is beautiful birds, 36 pages, six six designs and there's six pages of each there so one thing I didn't realize I've never bought an Anna Griffin uh, pad before I didn't realize that each page has this on the back so that's fine if you're making cards but if you're gonna use it for a journal or something like this is obviously why I bought this one uh, a journal, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to have to cover that up, but, or cut it off or something, but you know, that's what, it is what it is. So, okay. This one is flocked and there's the number. So this one, a few less, there's 24 pages because it's flocked. So there's four each of six designs and really pretty colors. Love. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> this one is flocked, so it's the darker that is the flocked. This one is not. So every other page, yeah, I love this one. <laughs> love this one. <laughs> it's so pretty. And this looks like the same design from the other pad, just different color tones. So, But all of these will work very well with each other. So there's that. Same thing repeated. There you go. And then this one was the first one that I picked up, and I'm sure you can tell why, because of this. <laughs> so this is the Blythe paper pad, 
36 pages, six designs, six pages of each design, and the number is there. Okay, so some more birds. I actually bought the gift bag set, one gift bag set of this design um, at Tuesday morning as well. So I'll definitely use that together. And then recently found some of the stickers that were the birds and uh, flowers. So both, I love this too, it's wildflowers. So both, but all of that will work very well with these paper pads and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of, there's the money shot right there. Isn't that gorgeous? You could just frame it. Just put it in a frame. Put it on the wall. Done. So pretty. So there you go. Some more paper. I've got paper coming out of my ears. <laughs> Last store purchase. I mentioned I had gone to Target to find something from their Target dollar spot. There were a lot of cute things. I only bought this. Uh, I didn't really feel like spending a whole lot more money. Yeah, I think these are really cute. They had a lot of other really cute things, but in the end, I didn't really wanna go overboard on that. Oh, there goes some paper. Okay, okay. So yeah. yesterday over lunch, I also stopped at a thrift store and found some really cool magazines, you guys. This particular thrift store has a little section for kind of more collectible type things, and I always obviously look at that section first. This time I came away with four magazines from the 60s, the early 60s. There are two Look magazines and two Life magazines. All four of them center around John F. Kennedy and um, are different dates. So this person, they all must have come from the same person, I'm assuming, because they had a collection or they were keeping memorabilia from that time. I, I'm i definitely going to look these up as far as seeing if they're worth any money. I'm, I'm not sure if they are. Obviously, if they are, I will not be cutting them up. And even if they aren't, I probably also won't be cutting these up because this is just something that, you know, you, you should keep keep intact. I mean, they're in really, really decent shape. So I hate to cut something like that up, but so this one is from July 16th, 1965, <laughs> originally 35 cents. Uh, did I say how much I paid? I paid a dollar each for these. I don't normally spend that much on something, but I figured, Hey, $4, I'll give it a try. If they're not worth anything, then that's okay. So, um, this was after his assassination. So I think this probably was just a look back at his life. I'm guessing they did a story, but even still, it's just fun to, fun to see the advertisements from then, uh, the way <laughs> she's loving that watermelon. <laughs> I haven't looked through these yet, but it'll be fun to read through the articles, boy, they really smell like 1965. <laughs> Older than I am, but that's okay. So, ah, the, we used to have this when I was a kid. It wasn't for records. Do you guys remember this? I think we had for comic books or maybe just books. I'm trying to remember, but yeah, I remember always begging my mom to, Mom, please, we, I need these books. I was always reading when I was a kid. <laughs> so, anyway, there's that one. You probably won't be seeing these in books from me. So, again, another one after his assassination. So, probably a look back or a look into, it looks like they're looking into um, Oswald here. Trying to figure out who he was, what his motivation might have been, or whatever. Um, so, sorry, these books are so big, I can't even get them in the frame all the way. Ooh, some naked ladies. Sorry, guys, I swear. I <laughs> I'm 
apparently when I'm shooting videos, all the naked ladies want to come out. <laughs> I promise it's not planned. So those are fun. That's fun. Okay, and this one, Kennedy and his family in pictures. So I'm guessing this one also was from after the assassination, but let's see. Is there a date? No, not there. Let's see if there's a copyright. Oh, here. So this one is copyright 1963. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to read this one. Because he was assassinated in November, so this could be before or after that. You don't, you don't, I'm assuming it's after. So, this one may be worth some money here. But I'll definitely be looking into these. And then the last one is another Look Magazine. This one kind of coming apart a little bit. Um... Here we go. March 7th, 1967. So a little bit later. The dramatic conclusion of the death of a president. Okay, so again, we're talking about Jefferson here and I guess <laughs> Nazism back then too. So this will be a fun one to read through. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the advertising is just so cool. And cigarettes. <laughs> Lots of cigarettes in the magazines from that time. It's a little bit different these days. Whoa, Budweiser. Nice big ad there. So, anyway. Yeah, I'll have a lot of fun reading through. Oh, there we go again. Get some more records. <laughs> can never pick just four. <laughs> you always have to pick more than that. Or at least I always wanted more than that. Okay, so that's that's what I've been buying. Oh, no. Sorry. One more thing I found at the uh, thrift store. Found this book. A Happy Living, a guidebook for brides. Thought it was... I liked the cover. I thought the cover could work well for a uh, guest book, maybe for a wedding. Uh, obviously I would take all the insides out, but then when I was looking at the insides, I really liked some of the pages in here too. So let's do a quick flip through so you can kind of see some of these pages. So at the back, we're going to learn how to cook and yeah, not looking too appetizing here, but you know, I'm sure there's, oh, 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 gross. Yeah, I don't even want to know what that is. It just looks nasty. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh. What the heck is that? Okay, it's not getting any better. No. Oh, and it's worse. Okay, moving along. Out of that section. <laughs> so, so gross. Um, yeah, like half the book is about cooking. Okay. So... And then, oh, corning where I had this, well, I didn't. My mom had this set when I was a kid. I don't think we had this, though. But I feel like I've inherited at least one piece, maybe more. Okay, so we're, now we're learning how to decorate. These are just fun. <laughs> I love that. Um, with really interesting color choices. <laughs> So these pages are fun. This just is a grid. So this will be, this can be put into anything, you know. Uh, I actually do have the flow book for paper lovers from this year. And there are some, oh, there's some yummy food again. There are some really awesome vintage images in there from this time period as well. So I was thinking, I, I didn't really know what to use that flow book for before, um, but now that I've gotten this, I feel like 
I have a really good start to a really fun journal of uh, 60s era ladies. And um, yeah, doing something a little bit vintage and a little bit different and outside of the norm for me. So guys, I'm always trying to <laughs> challenge myself apparently. <laughs> But, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little video and hope you can find some of these wonderful uh, paper pads at your local Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby. Uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have more subscribers. Oh, and thank you for all the new subscribers lately. You guys, you make my day every time I get a little notification. It's like, yay, somebody, a new friend. <laughs> so, all right, everybody have a great weekend. Bye.